That's right, close shopping. Just what I always wanted to do. Simulate close shopping. Besides, this might be a kingdom of cats for some reason. What a lovely outfit. Your shirt is such a pretty shade of yellow. Oh, cat puns. Just what I always wanted. What well, I got done with bear puns, and I can't even... Hmm, actually, because if I look at the back of the manual, there's apparently a language here I can read. I know I'm standing still, very boring. And I probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm playing, but because, apparently, these ancient texts, I want to see if anything matches quickly. Uh, that's too much right now. I gotta look on my own time. I was noticing that when I was installing, because I was kind of bored. So I was thinking maybe I could somehow read Close Shop. But that wouldn't make, it make any sense, because if it's an ancient language, I shouldn't even be able to read the language. Let's look at a sorcerer's place or something. Well, let's talk and see what happens. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this war- I mean... Do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? Oh, who? I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, man. Have you seen how the boy's dressed? He's a flippin' embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. I don't think you should be saying street cred, but okay. Who a fairy. Hootenanny. Huh. I used to see your kind all the time, but I'll bet children these days don't even know who you are. Who you are. Why with an H-O-O, -O, whatever. You're telling me, kids these days, man, disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flippin' shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now, about these clothes. Yes, dear. Who? let me think now. Ah, now I come to think of it. There was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And cheap, I shouldn't doubt. Tidy, we'll take it. But Mr. Drippy... Yes, yes, now I remembered. He was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes. Made from fabric woven from the fibers of the sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing, and lucky to hoot. I... Th Oh, this thing's an owl! I see now. I get it. More puns, basically. Oh, how come I didn't see that at first? I was thinking, this person's oddly shaped. I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are get it, going to wear this outfit, dear, I'll need a few hours to make some alterations. It would look huge on you. I don't get it. Otherwise, could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, mun. How's about that, then, Ollie boy? There's Lucky. Nito, thank you very much, ma'am. Hoo hoo hoo, a pleasure, my dear. Toodle hoo for now until tomorrow. It's hard to read text with so many jokes in them or even strange accents. Tomorrow's flipping ages away, mun. I'd like to go and see the king right away, like, but we can't go till we got your outfit sorted, ain't it? I guess not, but what will we do until tomorrow? I know, that guard on the gate said something about us getting some kind of card from a place in town, ain't it? Something Solutions, I think he said the name of the shop was. The one we just went in, the Hootick, that's the owl one. Was it, uh, Swift Solutions? There's Clever of You, that's the one. I knew it was some of other kind of bird plate, some kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy! The stores here sure do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like, ain't it? Anyway, let's get go over to the Swift Solution, shall we? Okay. Swift Solutions. I guess Swift as in something about a bird. I'm not really up on my terminology here. That shop looks like an owl is... That shop that looks like an owl is called Hootin. I wonder why they chose that name. Because there's a damn owl in it. Hmm. Okay, box is blocked my way. Can't even jump, I just realized. I will say, I do like the animations on the character. It does actually look animated. I know that sounds weird, but I mean, you could have cell shade and not make it look animated. Here, it actually does look like you are, like, it's very smooth, everything. I know, it, it's, the description's kind of weird. Technically, anything looks animated. But I mean, it actually looks like a movie. It's kind of nice. Interesting direction, definitely. Where does that take me to? Well, it takes me to a plaza area. 
Well, this looks more like a fish area because there's fish here. There's a giant cat. You know the pots we've got dotted about all over town? Well, you should pro you should probably have a look inside them every now and again. You never know when you might find something interesting. Or plain peculiar. Hard to read when there's puns. There's a French looking guy. This is a statue of one this is a statue of one of King Tom's heroic ancestors. His Majesty is going to have a, to stop lounging around around all day if he wants a statue made of him. Ugh, these puns are killing me. They make it harder to read, really. This is a fish area. Now that I think about it, why would a lot of bird creatures work in a kingdom ruled by cats? Isn't that a bit of a conflict of interest? And where's the dotted pots he was talking about? I don't see any right now. Uh, I guess I'll head back down here. That's probably where all the birds hang out. You see, this uh, kingdom works on a class system. The birds are considered the peasants, or maybe the pheasants. I'm sorry, I won't do that. That's the owl. Uh, and the cats seem to be uh, a higher ruling class. I can't think of a cat joke right now that involves... Oh, the aristocats. Ha 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 ha. I don't even know if that's the right way of using it. I don't know. Maybe, I just, maybe I'm just thinking too much. Or maybe I'm thinking too little. Well, this is, um... He's wearing a bird hat, so does he count as a bird? Taskmaster. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of task do you mean, sir? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Folks who are in need of assist- Uh, it's side quests, basically. The assistants flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run to people who are looking for help. And you'll have to decide whether or not to sue their blah blah blah. I don't feel like reading it, because it's basically side quests. So, take missions to eliminate specific- Yeah, yeah, it's side quests. Journal. A journal, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you've got. Oh, the gatekeeper mentioned something about those. I, uh, don't think I have one. I have one, though. Ho oh, ho, you don't, do you? Well, that is swiftly remedied. Keep this merit stamp card safe. You'll need to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards, which are sure to be useful on your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swift Solutions, hand over your completed cards, and if the awards will be yours. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Well, helping people out is all part of saving the world, Ollie boy. But before we make a start on all that do-goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now, the Hoot and Nanny said your outfit will be ready tomorrow. So I reckon our best plan of action is to go and get a good night's sleep down at the cat's cradle, ain't it? Okay, journal time. Not yet, though, because we have to sleep, because we have to progress the story first. Hmm. Wait, what, what, oh. This must be where people need help. New errands are available. 41, 42, and 43. A grim malkin standing near the Hootick and Ding Dong Dell looks somewhat troubled. Go and see what's wrong with Grim Malkin. I don't think I can ex no, I can't accept any right now. Because uh, Drippy won't let me. Because, you know. Four story progression, basically. Okay, now I gotta refine where Hootenanny was. Well, it's always the big owl looking thingy. Alright. No, not the owl place. The inn. The inn. The inn. I want to actually look at my map. Uh, okay, I see. Follow the damn star, you moron. That's how you get to your destination. Try to explore on my own, and what do I do? I ignore the giant star on the map. Hmm. I guess it's kind of cool they got people up there. Except I've seen that guy before. Yeah, I have a feeling a lot of these are going to be repeated people. I wouldn't call them models or anything. What do we call them, actually? Is this cell shaded? Uh, it is a curiosity. 
how they made everything in a way. Well, I guess the cell shading during the PS3 era was really good, so they could make it look like an actual animation. Welcome to one of the Cat's Cradle Chain of Premium Inns. We provide ourselves... I'm not even going to read this because there's too many per puns. Uh, price is 10 gold. Okay. I ha kind of have to pay. Your custom is always appreciated. You forget it. I'm not even going to read this all. Hey, look at your wizard's companion. There's something different about it. Ah, there's useful. The members of all of the travelers who stayed here have filled it back up a bit. Gee, I never expected that. Why the heck not, Mon? It's a flippin' mighty spellbook, ain't it? We'd best stay at as many of these places as we can, eh? I guess so, huh? Paint a new regions of the world page. I guess they're trying to teach you about staying at inns. That's the whole point. Like, I've never stayed at an inn before in a game. They go up, you talk Oliver. to them. Oliver? Huh? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this... a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him. To face him. And when you do... You'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very... important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. Morning, young man, and what a perfectly fine morning it is, too. You slept well, I hope. Excellent. You'll be on your way now, I expect. Well, if you happen to, I happen to cross another cat's cradle on your trials, be sure to stay with us again. Tom, missus, see you soon. Right, Ollie boy. Back to that owl shop, ain't it? Okay. Mom. Okay, I'll save it, I guess. Because they're asking. Yeah, hmm... Does his mother really know something he doesn't? Why would there be a double of her? In fact, that's something I was uh, wondering in the que in the uh, comments of the one of the last parts. Does Oliver have a double? Why is that double not also, um, you know, here to save the world? What happens if he meets his double in this world? And I mean. It brings up so many questions that it just becomes all this convoluted that it's kind of like best to take it as is without asking questions. Because then you're kind of breaking apart the story. Alright. Ready? My clothes? Hoo-hoo, there you are, dearie. You'll be happy to hear your clothes are ready. Tidy, best try them on then, eh, Ollie boy? Sure. I'll just pop and get them for you, dear. Wait there, I shan't be a moment. Yes, ma'am, thank you very much. What do you think? Huh? Oh, that's trendy! You look proper sharp, Ollie boy! Isn't that a little goofy? I mean, a cape? Don't be silly, dear. It hoots you down to the ground. Thank you very much, ma'am. How much do we owe you? Who? for those old things? Don't be silly, dear. You'd be doing me a huge, a huge favor. It's not even a good pun. But just taking them off my hands. Really? You sure? Hoo hoo hoo, I can't remember the last time I did any sewing. It was an absolute hoot, dear. Think nothing of it. All I ask is that you pop back and buy a little something from time to time. You do that for me, won't you, dear? Of course we will. Thanks, missus. There's lucky, Ollie boy. Looks like we owe this place another visit or three. We sure do. I got my set of traveler's clothes. And now you've got some dapper duds. We can... Now that... And now you've got some dapper duds, we can head up to the palace tidy. Time to go meet the king, huh? I'm kind of nervous. Alright, the cat. Nothing to be nervous to be, with a, to be about a cat. Just give him some fish or a bird and pet him and it'll purr and then you'll be best of friends. 
Oh yeah, the other problem I kind of have with the whole double thing is like, why would the mother know about this world yet have a double in this world? Shouldn't the mother be ignorant about? I don't know. Again, maybe I'm thinking too much. Perhaps. I don't know. Hard to tell. This guy is humongously fat. Another fine day. Working weather, I call this. Doesn't look like you've been doing much working, really. There's a guy here, which must mean it's relevant to what's happening. A little while ago, I received a letter summoning me for an audience with King Tom. I So I dutifully made the journey here, all the way from the far side of the kingdom. But now they say he doesn't want to see me, see anyone. What am I going to do? He doesn't want to see anyone. Apologies, but everyone in the palace is busy trying to find the king's red herring. Uh-huh. Is that a fish? I can't. I can't go any further. Can I talk to the guard? Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You tra- You are travelers, I take it. You must be in- You must be in those clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, you're after an audience with the king- With King Tom, are you? Well, I'd be more than happy to let you through. But I'm afraid that's just not possible at the moment. Huh? But why? Why the king's hapless aides has swallowed his Meow Justice's beloved pet fish to escape it to the palace moat. He's has allowed. I said swallowed. Why did I I was thinking that almost makes no sense, but I read it wrong. That red herring is the king's pride and joy. Now highly endangered species to boot. I doubt his Meow Justice would be able to replace this one if he were to lose it. What that aide of his was thinking, I don't know. Anyway, to cut a long story short, everyone in the castle is busy looking for the king's red herring at the moment. I'd advise you to come back another day. Uh, alright. What are we going to do, Mr. Drippy? The palace moat, is it? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that moat's connected to some of the rivers that run through town. You think it could have swum all the way to town? I reckon it's possible. Yeah. Why don't we have a look in a few of the ponds and that, just in case. Can't do any harm, can it? It sure can't. Gee, I hope we find that red herring, Mr. Drippy. Me too, Ollie boy. Right then, let's go fishing. It better not be actual fishing, because I think I've had enough fishing in all these games. I don't know what's with the obsession with fishing as a minigame. It has to be something to do with these people's obsession with it. Persona 4, near. I guess at least I got some nice dialogue between the main character and Weiss and Mir, but... So on four was just kind of, you know, plain. Nothing out of the ordinary with that fishing. Ah, oh, man, every time I think I can just explore, it tells me where to go. I was actually hoping to kind of explore and, you know, have to go and look through different moats, but they already told me which one to go to. I feel like the camera's moving on its own all the time when I'm walking. Like, I go... It has an automatic turning thing, and I don't know about it. There's some talking in the distance from people. Eavesdropping. It's telling me where to go. That's no fun. Maybe I want to look around on my own. Yeah, he told me exactly where to go. Look, Ollie boy. See that red thing over by there? Uh. No. I reckon I found our fishy friend. You better go and take a closer look, though, just to make sure, ain't it? Me? Why do I have to go over there? Well, who else is going to do it? Freddy the Fish Inspector? Come on, just hop on them ricky, rickety looking bits of wood. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, gee, alright. Guess I'll try. These things? Um, Look for that red thing. Huh. Can't go much further. Oh, I see it now. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Nickers, he got away. Sorry. He's a lively one, alright. I think he went off towards the palace, Ollie boy. After him! What could I even do in this position to get him? Not like I have bait or a rod. So, what, was I supposed to jump into the water and get him? Well, this is obviously a sequence. I, there's no way I was able to get him right there. It's just gonna take me through and probably teach me something. And I guess I've been wondering about this. Why does Drippy have, like, a candle lamp thing on his, hanging off his nose? Like, it's some sort of nose piercing a, a bowl would have or something. That's just kind of weird. Uh, okay, this way, actually. 
I guess there's something in here. Oh. I, hmm. So what's that over there? First of all, is this one of them pots I can explore? I got pie. It's over here now. Grab the fish. Slimy, scaly fish. So this is the king's favorite fish, huh? Tiny, that's a red herring if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves an audience with the king. Let's head back and see what that palace with and see that palace guard, shall we? I love big gravestone there. Ah, oh, he gets to carry it. Mm. I like how it's even. What the? Who are you? Eh? What's up with you, man? Look a bit pale, you do. Huh? You're giving this to me? You see the page describing the spirit medium spell. Well, fancy that. That's the page from the Wizard's Companion, that is. What's this little squirt doing with it? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Do you think he can't, can't speak? Nah, that's not it, Mon. If I'm not very much mistaken, yep, must be. Hmm, did you figure something out, Mr. Shrippy? That spell he just gave you. Give it a try, Ollie boy. You'll soon see. Well, alright then. Because he's a spirit or something? It takes 5 MP to do. I also cast to speak to the spirits of the departed, both good and evil. Thank goodness it worked. Cheapers, creepers, you can talk. Of course I can talk, silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? So that's what it does, huh? You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of a wizard are you? For future reference, spirit medium lets you speak to the spooky spirits of the dead, like me. So I was right. You're a flipping ghost, ain't it? A g ghost Jeepers! You mean to tell me that ghosts really exist? Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard once, too, once, you know. But thanks to that idiot, the Dark Jinn, there aren't too many wizards left. So when I saw you, I thought I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in I don't know how long. Jeepers, can I really keep it? Of course, it's the least I can do to say thanks for looking after my book. Your book? Now you got your wires crossed, Sunshine. That's our book, that is. Who are you, anyway? Me? I'm Horus, although you probably know me better as the Sage of Ages. Hang on a sec. You want us to believe that a little midget like you is the Sage of Flippin' Ages? Who are you calling a midget, Pipsqueak? I'm a fairy, ain't it? I'm supposed to be this size, cheeky little... You're called Ollie, are you? And you're on a journey in our world? Uh, yeah. Hmm, maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around our world for a long time. Right. I'm heading south to the desert. Hopefully we'll meet again at the town down there. See you soon. Okay then. I get to talk to the dead. I don't know what to think about that. Depressing, I guess, because these people are dead, which means that the dark djinn's been killing a lot of people, probably. Oh, well, there's no wizards left, almost. Let's make an audience with the king. Do I have to talk to the guard first? I presume. You again? I'm afraid we still haven't located King Tom's pet. This one? You mean? We came to deliver the king's fish back to him, sir. Is that? Goodness, I know the regal scarlet tones of the king's beloved red herring anywhere. Well, I'll be. I reckon he must have swum out through the sewers into town, like... Is that so? I must let the other guards know right away. Ah, if I remember rightly, you were... That's right, we need to see the king. Yes, of course, but with him in his current state... What's that? Something up? Is there? You could say that. Did I mention that the person charged with caring for the king's red herring just let it escape? Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late. So lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travelers, as you know only too well. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been indolence personified. And it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Indolence? Is that like laziness? I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps being reunited with his beloved red herring will give him the boost he needs. In you go. Tidy! We're out to see the king. Come on, Ollie boy. Come on, Ollie boy. Come on, Ollie boy. Let's go see the king. Ooh, boy. Animation. 
A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, your meow just the, uh... Out with it now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Mm -hmm. Huh? What did you say? That smell. Could it be? That's right, you will be out, He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fay? Once you that. defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... It's not one's concern. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. Don't do that. Now what? So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, or I'm broken-headed. Oh, great. Now we gotta mend his heart. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey. You don't need much encouragement, do you? Girl outside town was short on enthusiasm, too, huh? Indeed he was, Ollie boy. Like I say, I reckon the king's brokenheartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. But the other guard gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. We should go ask him for some more. No, 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 man. Don't go doing that. There's a very important rule about borrowing pieces of people's hearts. There is? What is it? Well, you can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off the top is all it's safe to borrow. Gee, I didn't know that. I'll be sure to be real careful from now on. So what do we do, Mr. Drippy? We trawl the town for someone else with get up and go a plenty, ain't it? It's a sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone somewhere. The only problem is where. Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village sized, after all. You might even say it's proper massive. I guess it's it kind of is, huh? In something of a quandary, are we? Oh, it's a stone. Flipping heck, my oh, jeez, I went too fast. Hi, Mr. Tellingstone. You seem perplexed, my young friends. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expense, expansive knowledge. Thanks, that's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm, elementary, my dear Oliver. In times like these, just look to your locket. Um, how do you mean? Well, not only can it carry pieces of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they are nearby. Tidy, so we can use it to attract down some enthusiasm then, ain't it? Allow me to tell you you a little more about, uh, about that locket of yours. You will see that it has the habit of glowing brightly from time to time. This is how it reacts in the presence of those who possess well the heart's riches and abundance. Incidentally, those pieces of heart despair will also glow a verdant green on the minimap in the top right of your screen. Neato! It will not serve to tell you which of the virtues the subject has in excess, but should still prove exceedingly useful to you nonetheless. I just know it will. Now, sally forth and seek Ye your piece of heart, young adventurer. Thank you so much, Mr. Tellingstone, sir. And if you ever find yourselves in need of knowledge again, you may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. Well, right oh, Ollie boy. Let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm and spirit, then, shall we? If your locket glows up all of a sudden, we know you're on the right track. Got it. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Well, even if I don't get the right one, can't I merely, uh, collect it for safekeeping for the future? Someone's bound to need it. I mean, it has multiple slots in it. 
So far, it doesn't seem like anyone, and how am I supposed to know if it's glowing anyway? Either way, let's find enthusiasm. Can't take too much from the same person, or else I guess they'll be saddened, and then suddenly we're in a conundrum. I guess I should also go and see if there's any quests I can take. This whole part's probably still going to be in Ding Dong Dell. Well, someone's glowing here. Yeah, which pot did I put it in again? Is everything okay? Well, it's my precious treasure, you see. I can't remember which pot I hid it in. Gee, that's tough. What sort of treasure is it? My grandmother's red earring. It's such a pretty color. You couldn't lend me a paw and help me look for it, could you? I'll help. It's another following task. You will? Perfect. It's in one of those pots you see around town. Inside one of those pots, huh? Leave it to me. You're a perfect gentleman. Eh, hey, well, there's my first quest. Now we gotta look for a pot. The red earring in it. Now, nope, I meant to go to my actual menu here. Should I, for the fun of it, get rid of the guiding star? Let's try it out for now. Because maybe I want to explore without it. It's not like this is the hardest place ever, or the hardest game ever. Goodness me, where are those little rascals running off to now? Is something the matter, ma'am? It's my voice. The three of them are forever running off and not coming back. I know they're just playing, but I can't help thinking they'll hurt themselves. You worry about them a lot, huh? Yes, I do. And today they're even later than ever. I'm beside myself. Ah, a mother's life is never easy, no matter where you go, eh? You don't have a spare woman, do you? Could you go and find my boys for me? If I can accept multiple, I'll take them. I'm sorry to put you to such trouble. If you could let me know when you found them, I'd be ever so grateful. Alright, I could do just that. Mm -hmm. so basically, if they're shining, they're a quest. Now, a pot. Pot, 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 pot. Any pots around here? Actually, I haven't seen that many. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It's like a shop, actually. A weapons armor shop, perhaps? It's a bird again. Someone's crying over there. Commiserations, friend! But I'm not allowed to sell weapons or armor to travelers. We're going to need a special permission from the king. Okay. Uh, do you need help or something? Well, it hurts! Oh, look. Poor Dab's gone and hurt himself. Must be one of the Lay's lost boys. We better patch him up, eh? Jeepers, that looks painful. But what can we do, Mr. Drippy? We don't have a first aid kit. Crikey, Ollie boy. Brain like a flippin' sieve you've got? You're a wizard, ain't it? Use some flippin' magic. Oh, I'm um, sure. What do I, uh... Which spell do I use, Mr. Drippy? For crying out loud, mon. I'm only telling you this once, right? Healing touch, mon. Got it? Healing flippin' touch. You said it twice. Ow, it hurts! Okay, here it goes. I'm going to fix you up, okay? Healing touch. How'd he hurt himself? Hmm? It doesn't hurt anymore. Hooray, I'm all better! Listen, Sunshine, your poor mother's worried sick about you, right? Get on home with you. I will, I promise. Thank you for making me better. Alright, well, that's one of the kids. I guess he was in a weapon shop for some reason and hurt himself. Can I open the treasure chest? Apparently I can. I got a Sunday. Should I give it to my little friend here? Should I feed my little friend here? Hmm. Magical defense. Accuracy. Guess we can put magical defense on him? Ah, why not even give him the pie and put his uh, accuracy up even more? There we go. Hooray! I only have one familiar right now anyways. I might as well try and overpower him a little bit. That should improve my battling situation a little bit. Okay, we found one kid so far. Now to find another kid slash... Is this where I'm supposed to go? I guess it is. Look, Mr. Trippy, the locket, it's glowing. Putty, then there's someone around here with a piece of heart to spare, ain't it? That kid? Really? The one with the broom and the pot on his head? And the only person around here is him. And look at him, Mun. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Jackpot! You mean you'd think he has some enthusiasm to spare? That I do, my lad. I bet my lantern on it. 
Let's go and get it, shall we? Do we have to ask permission first? We can't just take it. How do, saucepan head? I don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor, do you? Hey, stop distracting me. I'm busy. Busy? Uh, what are you busy doing exactly? Protecting the town from the mice, of course. Mice? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good. But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly know when the mice steal things, and the ones that do don't seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm standing guard here. Any mouse that comes this way is in for a battering. Well, well, we're right about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Ollie boy. Well, what are you talking about? Well, King Tom seems to be really short on enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got loads of this stuff. And it, we, if we gave some of it to King Tom, the whole town would sort itself out quick sharp. Yes, yeah, so we were wondering if you could share some of your enthusiasm with us. Of course, I'd do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. Alright, let's take heart. There's the enthusiasm we need. Who needs the guiding star? Spilled spirit of get up and go. Wow, that was strange. Well, now I know what magic feels like. Strange? What do you mean? Non-wizarding types ain't used to spells, see, Ollie boy? They don't know what to make of them half the time. So does this mean King Tom's going to be alright now, Oliver? Yes, and once the king's back to normal, everyone else should start feeling better too. That's right, Mon. Your enthusiasm is going to put a spring in everyone's step, ain't it? That's great to hear. Until then, though, I'd better stay here and keep an eye out for the mice. Alright, see you later, Tommy. Alright, this little Tommy kid gave me the enthusiasm. Strange, but acceptable. What's this? It's locked for sure. Can't enter it. It's a future place. But right now, can't do anything about it. Hmm. So he's guarding that thing? Whatever. Anyway, let's see if we can find another kid and that pot that went that the girl was looking for her stuff. I haven't seen many pots around here, though. Going down here is towards the inn. I don't really see many pots around here, though. Well, here's one. But it's nothing in it, sadly. I haven't seen many of these pots. Hmm. Also, I haven't seen any of the other kids, really. Found only one of them so far. Oh, well, I could. Here's a pot. And here I got ten guilders. Guilders. Oh, look, here's another pot. Actually, there's like two of them. Well, actually, there's only one that has something in it. I got ice cream. And there's a chest down here. But I can't go through down there. I might have to go, like... Well, that's a strange case, ain't it? I'm kind of blocked off from that chest. Must be something good in it, then. Um, I was going to go back into this place and see if there's like a kid or something in here. This is the swift place. Hmm. Are there kids in here? No kids in here. So what else do we have? Let's see. I guess I can't take it from here. That's strange. I guess I have to talk to the people. All it does is it, it tells me and I only can only accept it here, I guess. Hmm. Alright then. Uh, this way. A weird thing. Oh, wait. Staircase going up. That's a new one. Up here. There's another one of the kids, I think. Wow, I fell over my arm. It hurts. Hey, don't cry. I'll fix it right up here. I think give him the healing touch again, wasting all my magic. That makes two. Hmm? It's not hurting. It's not hurting anymore. There's Tidy A. That's magic for you. Magic, really? Wow, amazing. That's right. Your mommy was worried about you, so she sent the wizard to tell you to go on home right now. Yes, Mr. Wizard. I will. Thank you. Well, there's your second kid. 
I'll get this quest done. You'll see. I got a chest. This be sealed by some very potent magic. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that then, is there? Basically, this entire part's gonna be me and Ding Dong Dell. Alright, there's that cat. Have I been in this area? What's this? Oh, she wants something probably. Meow, I'm s still not quite pretty enough. Doing a bit of decorating, is it? Well, I always say you can't beat a flower or two. Brighten things up no end, they do. How clever are you? I was just thinking about using some flowers. I'm trying to make my doorway prettier, you see. You are? What kind of flowers are you thinking of using? Well, now I want something nice and bright. And I'll need some fresh, clean water to give them too. Yeah, I know you can help me. Can you spare time, pretty please? Okay. Yay. Splash of color. Oh, thank you. You're a perfect gentleman. Now I'll need you to bring me two plain plains wart flowers and two balls of spring water, alright? Yes, ma'am. Oh, but where can we find them? Yes, neither can be purchased from the shops. You'll have to go and look for them out among the rolling hills. Mew, don't worry. They're positively twinkle. I dare say you've seen twinkling spots on the ground outside town, haven't you? Well, be sure to investigate them when you stumble upon one. You'll find all manners of precious things. Uh, and one more thing. Once you forage from a particular spot, it won't twinkle as it did before. But never fear, both its produce and its twinkle will return in time. Got it. Thank you, man. We'll head out of town and keep our eyes peeled for some of these uh, twinklies. Tidy, let's go uh, foraging then, shall we? Thank you very much. You're a pair of perfect little gentlemen. Well, looks like some things can only be found outside of town. Hmm. There's only one person at the inn. So, let's go up there it takes me to that kid again. Probably been in the weapon shop. So, well, here's another one. That's white bread. So far, I'm not finding any red earrings. This one must be really hidden well. I don't know if it'll be around her. I think back there I can look at. And I don't think I can go on to this side. Nope, a fence blocking me. Uh, anything in here? There was something in here I didn't see. Mm hmm, a chest. Sealed. There's some serious get up and go. That is, again, okay. That's like, uh, why am I talking to him? I don't want to talk to him at all. He talks too much. Mr. Trippy talks too much. Alright then, this way... I guess I'll head up here then. That's not what I want. I want my map to show. Okay, there we go. Um, you're that cat. Mm -hmm. Nothing here, so I guess I'll go to the next area. Maybe I'll find something. Another kid. Mm. Maybe a pot somewhere hidden. Oh, here's another pot. Good in it. All right, I got the red earring. That's cool. I guess I gotta go return it to the people. Anyways, a lost kids here. Crying kids. Well, there's a chest back there. It looks like. I don't think it would be sealed since it's red. There's someone else who needs help too. I got more bread. It's over here. Oh, it's the other kid. Man, I fell over and grazed my knee. Hey, don't cry. Let me fix you up. You're wasting all my magic, kids. Huh? It's not hurting anymore. That's right. All better. There's Marvelous. Your mother's worried sick about you. Run right along home now. There's a good lad. I will. I promise. Thank you very much. Well, there's the one quest. Well, actually, two quests done. I guess I gotta go return to the people and see what I get for it. Obviously, I can't do the other one because I need to go out of the town, which I'm not ready to do yet. That's something more when I have to leave it, I'll, I'll start looking. Uh, here's another pot. Here, I got poison be gone, eh? That sounds helpful. Probably gets rid of poison. If it didn't, that would be strange. Alright, so this cat was looking for the earring. Which I have now. 
Meow, my, you've got it. You've got my earring. Oh, that's perfect. Just perfect. You found it for me. We sure did. Don't lose it again now, okay? I promise I'll never lose it again. Oh, here. This is a present for you. Thank you so much. I got leafy mantle and 50 gildas. Safe hiding place, and I got two stamps for it, I guess. Or one stamp. Oh, I got two stamps. Alright, cool. Let's go return to the mother, too. Which happens to be right here. Thank you so much for finding all three of my boys. And you patched the littlest rascal stuff as well. You're a treasure. An absolute treasure. I'm just glad we can help. Oh, I can't wait until they grow up a little and a little and calm down. Here, this is to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got three slices of sweet pie and 50 guilders. And looks like I get three stamps for doing this. Guess it makes sense. Three boys, now it's three stamps. And that's all I can do for quests for now. So let's give the Cat King, King Tom his enthusiasm. Or else I can't really progress without it. And then I'll see when I end it. I'll probably end it soon. It's been roughly 45 minutes. Give or take a few seconds. I know, it doesn't seem like I'm accomplishing much, but I mean... There's only so much I can really do. It's the beginning of the game. Can I just enter or not? Yeah, it looks like, it looks like I can just enter. Let's go and give him some heart. Walk all the way up to him. Mm, you! You again! The one's becoming tired of these constant interruptions. Sorry, your majesty. It's just we have something for you. Yeah, we picked it out especially for you, Catface. It'll get rid of that tiredness of yours in no time. Give you a new lease on life. It will. Strong teeth. Glossy fur. I'm not sure that's... Oh, that sounds just the ticket. This accursed fatigue will be the death of one. Dealing with all these visitors has taken its toll. Not to worry, your majesty. One little bit of enthusiasm is all you need, ain't it? That's a uh, give heart. Still spirit of get up and go to King Tom. So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow just did please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, Your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. Oh boy, he refers himself into like the third, not the third person even. I don't know what to call it. What would you claim as your prize, hmm? Tidy, you know what to ask for, ain't it, Ollie boy? Oh, uh, sure. We uh, we need a magic wand, your majesty. Yo, know, is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. Now one thinks of it, there is a wand one prized very highly as a kitten hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. There is, eh? And? And one would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Return later on, and one shall present it to you. Cheapers, thank you very much, your majesty. Your majesty. So, boy, if you are in search of a wand, can one take it that you are perhaps a wizard? Indeed he is, your majesty, a shiny new apprentice wizard, who doesn't exactly know much magic, but yet, um, hmm, is that so? Then let one provide you with a spell or two. Once one will be of little use without spells to cast, after all. Really, your majesty? That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. I got Spring Lock and Rejuvenate. Yo ho ho! You must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things to their former glory, eh? What did you use to get up to with, with these, your majesty? Mew, none of your business, fairy. Now, boy, you try with a familiar, do you not? 
What has sent word to the ca caught to master store down in the town that you are to be given permission to shop there? The cost Cotter Master Store? What kind of place is that, Your Majesty? Mio, you sure that you are an adventurer? One cannot help but fear for the safety of such an innocent. No matter. The Cotter Master Store provides weapons and equipment for the use of familiars. Why not go and browse the, the pro products on offer while one seeks out one's wand, hmm? We sure will, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. Now, one has plenty to attend to. Come and present yourself to one again in a short while. Oh, a short while, eh? I love when games are vague about that. Just come back. Ooh, gigantic pillars. Of course, they only render so many of them in reality. The rest is probably like a still image or something. Okay, so now I can possibly open chests that I couldn't open before. That's how I see it. So before I end this, I want to go try it out. And then I'll end it. So if I remember correctly, there was one in one of the shops. The one on top of the building where I found one of the kids around here. So, not up there. I think it was, I don't remember exactly where it was, but I know there was definitely one up here. Probably cost magic too. So now, perhaps, I can purchase that which is shut tight to open. Does not work on human hearts. All this great one is not powerful enough to open his chest. Okay, that's... Okay. I'm not powerful enough yet to open that chest. Probably because I gotta wait till I get the damn cat's wand. Maybe. Uh, what about the one I saw in that other place? In... It was in the, uh... Swift place, I think. So, let me head there quickly, at least. So we can remember where it is. It's actually up all the way here. I completely missed it. That'll be the last day I checked and I can open that chest. If not, then I'll end it. I'll end it like right in front of the Swift store or something. Alright. Let's check this chest out. Am I... Or maybe it wasn't in here. I really thought it was. Okay, then maybe it was in the weapon shop actually, where I have to go anyway. Because it definitely wasn't in the uh, owl's place. That place is too small for anything. Um, okay, up this way. Up this way. It was most likely in here. Mm, oh. I was able to open that one. Okay, then. I guess it was in the store I didn't expect. Well, then. What I'll do is I'll actually save it here. Yep. Save it here. I think I got enough recording time done. And next time, I guess I'll try and get the wand. But, uh, you know, it'll take a bit of time because I got to wait. Probably just got to go into here and do some cutscene. And then it'll be ready. Anyway. See you next time.